to Mr. Hassan's Maths channel. I'm now answering question number two from the June 2024 International A Level at Excel. Excel exam. And this question is from the Pure Mathematics P4 um, unit. And we're told in this question about this uh, vector. So we're told that with respect to a fixed origin, the point A has position vector O to A, 7 to negative 5. Given that A to B is a vector minus 2, 4, 3, find the coordinates of the point B. Okay, so with these three-dimensional vectors, to um, draw them accurately, of course, is not really possible because it's three-dimensional. So you can draw, draw them anyway. So, for example, I'm going to draw O to A like this. Oops. Use a straight line. What happened there? I don't know. Okay, so I'll use a straight line. Say this is from O to A. And so I've decided that's O and that's A. Okay, um, let me change the color. So I've decided that's O and that's A. Okay, and let me say, let's put B over there. Okay, so then O to B would be like this. Okay, and this would be A to B. So a diagram always makes things very clear in vectors. So this is O to A, which is the vector 7 to negative, negative 5. Let me put that clearly before I make a silly mistake. Okay, that's the vector from O to A. And the vector from A to B, we're told, is negative 2, 4, and 3. And what did they tell us to find? The coordinates of the point B. Now, the coordinates of the point B are basically the same numbers that you'll find in the uh, vector O to B. The vector O to B tells you how to get from, from O to B. And the coordinates of B would be those same numbers, okay? That same number along the, the X, Y, and Z axes, okay? So if you find the position vector of, if you find the position vector of B for O to B, you've effectively found the coordinates. You just write it in coordinate form in the end. So we can see from here very easily, I want to go from O to B, I want to go from O to B, then I've got to go from O to A, and then A to B. So I just have to simply add these two vectors together. O to A, A to B takes us from O to B. We don't have to really draw the diagram, but a diagram does help to visualize what's happening. So it's always a good idea. So we have O to B equals O to A plus O to A to B. So you have 7, 2, and negative 5 plus A to B is negative 2, 4, and 3, and that gives us our answer. Well, that gives us the, the position vector first. It's going to be 5, 2 plus 4 is 6, minus 5 plus 3 is negative 2. So therefore, we can say the point, the point B, the coordinates of the point B are just the same numbers, but just now in coordinate form. That's all. That's the x, y, and the z coordinate. Okay, and there's the answer to question part A. Nice and simple. Nothing difficult about it, okay? And drawing a diagram helps you to visualize what's happening. Okay, so there's part A. And now for part B. It says the point C has position vector OC equals A5 minus 1, um, where A is a constant. Given that O to C is perpendicular to B to C, find the possible values of A. So again, visualizing this will be very useful. So I'm going to just take what we had from before. Oops, Does this work? Should do. Okay, we'll put it over here. And we're gonna, so we know what O to B is, so the O's got missed out here. That's, that's the origin O. O to B, we, we worked out what that is. That's 5, 6, minus 2. Okay, so that's 5, 6, and negative 2. We have O to A, O to A to B. Now there's a third point C, which has position vector A5 minus 1. Now we know that O to C is perpendicular to o, B to C. So O to C is perpendicular to B to C. Okay, what's that doing over there? Where did that come from? Anyway, now, no, that was O. That was O that we, we missed out. Okay, now, we know that if I draw a line O to C, it's perpendicular to the point B. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, we're going to draw a line in a different color. And so O to C is going to be somewhere. It could be anywhere like this. 
Okay? And there could be another version of it, something like this, where this line, B to C, is perpendicular to O to C. They meet at right angles. Okay, so that's C. That's, let's call it C1 and C2. Possible values of C. All right? And this would be here, O to C and B to C. We, they, they are perpendicular. This is a right angle, this is a right angle. Kind of like a kite shape, it makes it, see? Now, what we can do here is we can um, understand that when two vectors are perpendicular, the, the dot product, the dot product or the scalar product is called sometimes, is equal to zero. So the dot product or the scalar product of O to C and of B to C is going to be equal to zero. So we have to know what O to C is, which we are given, but with A missing, which we have to find in the end. So A, 5, and minus 1. We also have to find what B to C is, the vector from B to C. If I want to go from B to C, either this or that, doesn't matter. I'll just choose one of them. B, B to C, I want to find what this B to C is. Okay, then I've got to go from B to O, and then from O to C. So it's like saying O to C minus O to B. O to C, so it's like minus OB plus OC. Okay, so it's like always, always works like that. It's always O to this minus O to that. Okay, that's how it works because of, you, know, you can visualize it and see. Now, O to C we know already is A5. That's an A, not a 9. Okay, just in case you get confused there. Okay, the tail was a bit long. A5, negative 1, and O to B. Um, is 5, 6, minus 2. 5, 6, and negative 2. So that's going to give you A minus 5, and negative 1, and minus 1 plus 2, which is 1. So that's a vector from B to C. So I know that B to C and O to C, the dot product is 0. Okay, so if I do A times A minus 5, minus 1, 1, dot product with um, O to C, that's a, 5, and minus 1. That's going to give me 0, which leads us to an equation. Uh, dot product is found by multiplying the, the, the I, I components together. That's a times a minus 5, plus these two multiplied together. That's going to be minus 5, plus these two multiplied together. That's going to give you minus 1. And we know when they're perpendicular that this, this has to be equal to 0. Okay, so this gives you a squared minus 5a minus 5 minus 1 equals 0. So you have a squared minus 5a minus 6 equals 0, which is a quadratic equation, which if we solve this quadratic equation by factorizing, I think 6 and 1 will work. So a, 6 has to be the negative 1, and a uh, plus 1. So a minus 1, a plus 1 equals 0. a squared plus a minus 6, a, yes, that's right. So therefore, A could either be neg a positive 6, sorry, or A could be negative 1. Those are the two possible values of A for which uh, OC is perpendicular to BC. So we've, we've got the answer to the question, and that's, that's that. So it's just using the fact that they are perpendicular, and there's <coughs> their dot product will equal 0. So there's the answer to question 2, part B as well. So that concludes this question from the June 2024 paper. Um, just a little doubt that one student had when he was, um, well, a comment that I got, you know, saying that, you know, when you want to find the vector equation of the line, in fact, that's not, actually, this is not actually part of this question. There's no vector equation of a straight line. So I'll answer that when I get to a question like that. That's going to come up later. All right, so anyway, that concludes this question from this paper. Other questions from this particular paper will be found in the playlist that will appear on the top right of the screen at the end of this a video, other questions dealing with vectors from P4, you'll find the playlist over here for that. You can subscribe to the channel by clicking on this link, and at the top here you'll have a video which tells you how to navigate through my channel to find things that you want, whether it's IGCSE content from Cambridge or Edexcel, whether it's A-level or AS content from Cambridge or Edexcel, you'll find um, the different ways of navigating to those to that material in the video at the top there. Thank you for watching and see you soon.